Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Okay, I'm here with David Oliver, the U.S. Uh, champion, the 110-meter high hurdle. So, uh, anyway, um, how'd your race go out there for the finals uh, with the wind and everything else out there? Uh, you know, I went very well because I won. You know, every time you win, you can't complain. So I'm just happy to be on the team for Day uh, Daegu and represent the United States. You know, I had to get through here uh, healthy, and I was able to do that to a certain extent. And very happy to get my third U.S. title. And you know, love competing here in Oregon. I'm looking forward to coming back next year. And uh, you know, did you feel you know from the start like you were right on from the, the, the minute the gun went off? And I think you felt like you were 100 percent going off. Uh, well, my start really wasn't that good. You know, I just held in the blocks a little bit because the starters were holding us a long time. But, you know, I just knew if I just stayed on my technique throughout the race that I would be able to go out there and execute and run a time that was good enough to win. So that's just what I tried to do, and I'm happy with the performance. And uh, now what are you going to do uh, between now and um, going free? Are you going to head off here? Uh, yeah, I have a couple races lined up, but mainly I'll just be back in training and really just resting up and recovering, man. You know, these this championships is very, very tough, so I'm glad I made it through, and I'm glad to be representing the USA again. Now, I got a question. I yeah. Bill, you must do a ton of weight. Uh, not really. We only lift weights probably like two or three times a week, but, I mean, it's always a lot heavy, though, so, you know, and... Uh, I mean, that's probably old football, too. I played football in college, so you know we, you know how we are with football. I'm always going there, bench press like crazy, and do a lot of weight. So that's uh, just probably where it came from. You know, that was such a, when I was at the convention with you, that was such a great story to hear about uh, how you uh, were working hard time. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you asked the foundation for the USATF Foundation. Exactly. Did it help? It helped you out, and you were able to train full time and uh, move to the top of the world. Exactly. So, you know, um, you know. Looking back on that, you know, that's really going to make you feel good that they, that the USATF helped you out. Definitely. You know, it would, the USATF Foundation is big for us, you know, emerging athletes. You know, I knew I had what it took to be elite, but, you know, it's kind of getting that extra help. But like I always say, nobody got here on their own. You know, I didn't become, you know, three-time U.S. champion, American record holder, whatever on my own. I had coaching, training partners, you know, uh, financial assistance from, like, you know, USATF Foundation, you know, working, whatever it took just to get to the top. So that's why I always say, you know, I got here. So if I can get here, you know, anybody can get here if they just work hard, man, you know, and that's just kind of been one thing that I live by, and I just wake up every morning blessed and happy that I'm able to do what I'm uh, doing right now. Well, that's fantastic. Well, good luck in uh, Korea, and hopefully we'll see you at the top of the podium there. Uh, thanks. Awesome.